Good morning and welcome to A Week in My Life. My name is Twee and I'm an M1 in the cardio palm block. I start my mornings like everyone else, playing Wordle. For anyone interested, this morning was number 210 and it took me three guesses on hard mode. This will be my only intentional flex of this vlog. Every morning also includes a delicious, nutritious breakfast. So today's agenda is cookie crisp, class, an ultrasound simulation session, and studying. I try to be out the door before 8 if I'm going to in-person lecture. This class is also live streamed and recorded, but I really like this lecture, so I want to be in person. You'll see here though that a good chunk of the class actually turns into the live stream instead. After class, I head home, put on TV, and make lunch. I'm not big on meal prepping, but I will get ingredients ready for the rest of the week and clean out my fridge because the Kroger ad drops on Tuesdays. Today, I don't have a lot of time before heading back for the ultrasound simulation, so I chop romaine for some salads for the week, peel enough garlic and shallots for the week, and peel an orange for a snack for now. Off to the ultrasound session. <laughs> Here we are using a simulator. We add guidance from upperclassmen and residents and attendings from Lexington. Yeah. 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 Dinner tonight is catching up with a friend over half price pizza. <laughs> Saw this adorable female cardinal on the way home. And I end the night with studying. That usually consists of re-watching lectures, reviewing notes, using some outside resources, catching up on email, and occasionally reading, like papers for a couple journal clubs or book for page to bedside, which is essentially a med school book club. A lot of students study at the health science library, but seeing other people be productive makes me feel less productive, so I almost always study at home until bedtime. Good morning. The agenda for today is pops, class, and longitudinal, pra longitudinal practice or LP. So I went home to change into business casual. I bring my pocket guide for the block, goggles, my reflex hammer, and my stethoscope. I'm at an outpatient internal medicine clinic. I enjoy it because we see a diverse patient population and my preceptor is an awesome instructor. I would describe it as shadowing plus. There are times where I am just learning from watching her, but as we learn clinical skills in class, she and her team let me start incorporating them. This is one of our exam rooms, nothing fancy. So far, I'm taking patient histories, taking manual blood pressures, conducting some physical exams, and listening for heart and lung sounds since we're in the cardio pump block. Today was solid. I saw six patients total, and a patient from before the holidays has been waiting to see me again and made me an egg ornament. Cardinal on the way home, feeling very auspicious. Since I was already in the car, come grocery shopping with me. So time to go home and make a quick dinner. chatting with my parents tonight they asked me if i'm eating enough and i ask what episode of loss they're on i'm always wiped out after lp because it's four hours not including the commute time so tonight is no notes just vibes i rewatch stuff on two times speed and call it a night good morning Today is Captain Crunch, class, meeting up with my M2 mentor, going for a run, and studying. After class, I head to the hospital to pick up scrubs for the week. 
This is the lovely Terry. Hi. Then I had to get coffee with my mentor, Jason. He's the best and I think a genius. Like many others in med school, I was once a high school student athlete, so sometimes I lace up and work out. I also really enjoy working with people with vision impairment, so I'm training to be a sighted guide runner. And look at the stunner on my run, a Cooper's Hawk right across the street. just reviewing notes and watching a pre-recorded module. I am strictly anti-Anki. I know it works for a lot of people, but it doesn't work for me. So I write out my notes and I cover things up to test myself. To all the Anki stands, yes, I know what an image occlusion card is, but no, I don't want your add-on for it. And that is my night. Hello, hello. Today we have Fruity Pebbles, Class, and Longitudinal Group. Get a video of class or of any birds, but I did catch this guy. After lunch, I get scrubs on for longitudinal group or LG. LG is a group that meets about once a week, and this is where we do the majority of our clinical exam skills. I absolutely love my preceptor. She's a practicing physician, OSU alum, and an OSCE grader. So she has great advice on being in the clinic, life in general, and what they look for on simulated patient exams, which we have every block. Meet up with a friend to walk. Today we went over the cardiovascular exam and pulmonary exam. Here's us practicing on each other and our preceptor is there for corrections and questions. Excuse the camera angle, there was actually a standardized patient today for instruction who stuck around for us to practice on if we wanted. Dinner tonight is Joanne Lee Molinaro's spicy tofu. It's wicked good and I bought the four pack of tofu at Costco even though I live alone, so we have to use that up. And you probably know by now, I am the night studying. I go over the day's lectures, take some notes, watch another pre-recorded module, and then look ahead at the slides for tomorrow. We made it to Friday. Today's agenda is Apple Jacks, class, studying, and sushi. They just finished phase one of the Interdisciplinary Health Sciences Center project, so I'm signing this beam that's going to be included in the next phase of construction. After class, I review everything from the morning and a little bit from the week as well with another M1. I'm really grateful for friends who keep me accountable and who make really good espresso. I'm also super duper lucky to have a partner that visits and meticulously orders sushi. I don't have a 
a switch, however he does, so the rest of the afternoon is spent making snowballs and playing Mario Kart. My weekend will include the much less aesthetic things in my life, like cleaning and laundry and more studying, but overall I think this was a pretty representative week for me. If I didn't have LP or LG, I might have studied more, volunteered at a free clinic or shadowed, or I might have done nothing, because if you've gotten anything from this video, I hope it's that med school workloads never really get easier, but you can get better at balancing them. And I've never done a vlog and don't know how to end one, so I'm gonna go with the tried and true. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Bye!